this is Barry Branton. Today I received this message. I'm going to read it to you. It says, thanks so much for this video. It helps to keep this refresh in my mind. I'm going to play this every night again before I retake the exam as need to update in the Secretary of State system as I allowed it unfortunately to expire can you please tell us for the state of Michigan where can we go to get a class B training and do you recommend when being trained for class B to drive a class pardon me to drive a bus I don't feel comfortable with being offered to drive a school bus in two weeks can you tell me how long does it generally take to professionally know how to back a bus in I just don't feel comfortable having someone tell me it should be done in two weeks when I know if you've never driven a bus or commercial vehicle in your life I would think it would take longer please help me with this again thank you for this video, it really helps. All right, presumably you're talking about getting a job uh, with a school bus company. Um, when I first started um, driving recently, it was with a local school bus company. And what I did was I just went and applied for the job. Uh, I hadn't driven a vehicle, a especially a commercial vehicle, uh, since 1986, I think it was, when I drove a beer truck. But then, um, I believe it was 2016, I got a job driving a school bus. Uh, here's where I worked at Beach Transportation. Great place to work. Um, so I started driving a school bus. And, um, I did that for about three years. Um, it's a great way to learn. Uh, what you do is you just go apply for the job that you want. Um, you know, there's a shortage of school bus drivers, uh, in my, in my opinion. So, um, I suggest just going and applying for the job, get the job and they'll train you um pretty much now when i started um they didn't train you for the uh the book learning part you had to do that yourself and go take the uh, the written exams and then once you received your commercial learner's permit and also you'd need your mech which is your medical examiner certificate take that back to the employer and um, they begin the next phase of training, which is for the skills test, which are tests that you actually do. For example, one is, um, vehicle inspection. The next skills test is basic vehicle control. And then the next one is on road driving test. And if you successfully pass those tests, then, um, you go to the state and, uh, once you're examined by an examiner, um, they'll um, issue uh, issue you a CDL license after you pay the fee. So my suggestion is, um, if you've never driven a, a vehicle, a large vehicle, um, before, um, the best thing you can do is during your training period practice and the company that you're going to be hired by they will have someone who is a trainer there who will instruct you on how to properly back up the bus and you just follow their directions and um, that's the best thing um, is to practice it so you'll become better at backing with more practice. Um, 
that's basically all I have to say about it. Um, but while you're studying the material, the written test, um, just study sections one, two, and three for the general knowledge. Study uh, passenger passenger test and your school bus driver's test. And those are the two endorsements you need. Now, if your school bus has air brakes, of course, you'll need to take the air brakes exam. Uh, generally, most school buses have hydraulic brakes, but some do have air brakes, in which case you would need to study the section for air brakes. And likewise, you would also need to take a vehicle inspection. I mean, when you do your vehicle inspection uh, test, you'd need to be able to point out the parts of the air brake system uh, during that test. So I hope this helps out. Uh, thank you for the question and um, uh, look forward to uh, answering any other questions I can. Thank you so much and have a great day.